हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स लर्न इम्पॉर्टेंट डायग्राम्स टू बी ड्रॉन इन द लॉन्ग आंसर क्वेश्चन और शॉर्ट नोट ऑफ एक्जिला द वॉल्स ऑफ एक्जिला आर सुपीरियर इन्फीरियर मीडियल लैटरल एंड एंटीरियर एंड पोस्टेरियर विच आर शोन इन दिस एनिमेशन नेक्स्ट थिंग द apex of the axilla which is also called as cervical axillary canal in the superior view we will first draw scapula then we will show the first rib and anteriorly there is clavicle so these are the boundaries of cervical axillary canal or apex of axilla we should not forget to show the directions after the cervical axillary canal we will see how to draw boundaries and contents of axilla so we will prefer the horizontal section to show all the details of boundaries and contents first we will draw humerus then we will show the posterior structure that is scapula then we will draw rib so the section horizontal section it will pass through all these structures humerus scapula and rib now let us show the directions now we will draw the anterior wall which is formed by the pectoralis major extending from the sternum up to the lateral lip of the bicipital groove along with the pectoralis minor muscle along the posterior wall we will show subscapularis muscle so next thing to draw is subscapularis muscle then we will draw other structures that we show in the posterior wall that is teres major and latissimus dorsi which is inserted into the floor of bicipital groove within the bicipital groove we can show the tendon of biceps brachii and along with it we can show coracobrachialis now we will draw the important contents of the axilla axillary vein medially axillary artery around the second part of axillary artery cords of brachial plexus medially medial cord laterally lateral cord and posteriorly posterior cord all these structures are enclosed within axillary sheath on the medial aspect the serratus anterior will go from rib it originates from the ribs and insert on the medial border of the costal surface of the scapula so let us complete the labels so this is how you should draw the horizontal section step by step next important diagram that we should show the contents of axilla cords of brachial plexus so basic diagram show the c5 to t1 roots formation of trunks and divisions and finally show the formation of cords this is the posterior cord from all the dorsal divisions then we have lateral cord and medial cord next diagram we should show that is axillary artery and branches
we know that axillary artery it is divided into three parts by pectoralis minor muscle pectoralis minor muscle originates from second third fourth ribs inserts on the coracoid process axillary artery it begins from the outer border of first rib and ends at the lower border of teres major muscle the axillary artery is continuation of subclavian artery at the outer border of first rib it becomes axillary artery the three parts above the pectoralis minor behind the pectoralis minor and below the pectoralis minor the first part second part behind the pectoralis minor muscle and third part that is why pectoralis minor muscle is key muscle in the pectoral region peculiarity of axillary artery is one branch from first part two branches from second part and three branches from third part from first part there is superior thoracic from second part there is acromio thoracic and lateral thoracic and from the third part there is anterior and posterior circumflex humeral and subscapular artery so let us revise once again superior thoracic artery from the first part acromio thoracic and lateral thoracic from the second part anterior and posterior circumflex humeral arteries along with subscapular artery from the third part of axillary artery last diagram that we should draw is of axillary groups of lymph node with the basic landmarks anterior and posterior axillary folds clavicle show the basic group of lymph nodes anterior posterior lateral then apical and central group of lymph nodes anterior group is also called as pectoral group of lymph nodes posterior group of lymph node it is also called as subscapular lymph nodes then there is lateral group of axillary lymph nodes then we have central group of axillary lymph node central group of axillary lymph node and finally we have apical group of axillary lymph node which is also known as infraclavicular group of axillary lymph nodes so these are the basic diagrams one should include in the axilla